Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to repair the zoom lock mechanism on a Canon 100-400mm L ISU SM lens. This method also applies to the Canon 20-300L lens and also the 35-350L lens. Recently I had a Canon 100-400mm lens which had problems with the zoom lock mechanism. When it was tightened, the lens could be expanded, so the zoom lock didn't fold the lens in its position. So I had to remove the zoom lock from its place and uh, remove the coating from the metal ring inside and then replace it with the painter's tape. In this video I show you how I did that. Before I would start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to repair the zoom lock mechanism. For this assembly I will use a PH30 screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver and adjustable metal tweezers. For replacing the coating, I will use a wire brush, a microfiber cloth, a painter's tape, a cutting board, a paper cutter and a ruler. If you are interested in buying them, then links are in the description below. If you find this video useful, informative and adds value to you, then like and share this video, subscribe to my channel and consider donating. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. This is the lens which has a zoom creep, so the zoom lock doesn't lock the lens barrel in its place. The zoom lock is tightened, but it can't lock the lens in its place. Let's start the disassembly by removing three small screws from the side of the lens using a small flathead screwdriver. Remove the silver cover ring and the red ring underneath it. I couldn't remove the third screw, so I removed the ring without removing the screw. Remove those three screws from the side of the lens. Remove the front lens cover tube. Remove the screw which holds the zoom lock mechanism. Loosen the zoom lock, then remove it from the lens. There is a metal ring inside the zoom lock mechanism, which contracts or expands as it tightened or loosened. Originally there is a black cover on this ring, which holds the zoom in its current position. On this lens it is missing. It has peeled off, so I will adhere the painter's tape on the place of it. Those are the original parts which were on the metal ring. 
I removed all the remains of it, only a small part remained on the ring, which will be removed using wire brush. I cleaned the surface of the metal ring using a window cleaner and a microfiber cloth to remove all of the oil and grease, which may prevent the painter's tape to adhere well. I use a cutting board, ruler and paper knife to cut the painter's tape and an adjustable tweezers to measure the width. The length of the painter's tape should be 25 cm. I measure the width of the metal ring with an adjustable tweezers. The painter's tape should cover this part of the ring and not be wider than this. This is the width of the ring and now I cut the painter's tape to that width.
I used tweezers to remove the pinter's tape from the cutting board and put it on the lens ring. I try not to touch the adhesive side of the tape to make sure it is adhered well to the metal ring. This is how the final result look like. I use a microfiber cloth to push the painter's tape to the metal ring to adhere it well to the wall of the lens tube. Let's start the assembly. Loose the zoom lock ring and slide it on the lens. Those two parts should be aligned. Put back the screw into the lens. Next step is to put back the front lens cover tube. The ultrasonic sign should be at the front of the lens. Put back the three screws into the side of the lens.
Put back the red ring and the front cover ring on the lens. Put back the screws into the side of the front cover ring. Let's test the zoom lock. We are done with repairing the zoom lock of the lens. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you find it useful, informative and adds value to you, then like and share this video, subscribe to my channel and consider donating. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. See you next time in my other video.